the Earth was formed. About 500 million years later, life began. Out of the water. A single-celled organism developed into breathtaking life forms. In the water, on the land, and in the air. Also, we emanate on this cradle of life. And we still need water, and we will still need it in future. For living and for surviving. As elixir for humans and animals. For a green and healthy environment. For fresh vegetables from the fields. For nutrient cereals. So that the fast-growing mankind does not die of hunger. But the fast increasing acceleration of the climate change and the environmental pollution are creating doubts that we are able to manage it. In the past year the arid areas have doubled, forests are dying, water runs short worldwide. But we have an endless source of water. Wastewater. Available abundantly, always and everywhere. The resource wastewater is able to reduce its boiling of high quality drinking water if treated for reuse. Volume wise, service waters make the biggest part of all water consumptions worldwide. For watering in agriculture, as well as for cleaning and cooling in the industrial field. And that's how it works. Domestic wastewater from various domicile units, strongly fluctuating amounts of wastewater from hotels, resorts and campgrounds, or highly contaminated wastewater from agriculture or the industry, are channeled via an independent system into the decentralized wastewater treatment plant. During the SBR process, hydraulic peaks are buffered and gradually led into the biological cleaning treatment system. After the following process of recycling, the water can be used again without hesitation for watering the grass, the tomatoes and the golf course and also as process waters for industrial applications. We have to start to rethink differently, like we did with solid waste. We have to understand wastewater as an essential raw material. We have to recycle instead of removing it. We must reuse instead of wasting it. In fact, this is a way we create a water factory with an endless potential. And that's how we will get a grip on the water crisis.